morning everyone it is Friday morning and we've talked about gold a little bit this morning with traders and sparked a lot of interest so instead of doing more commentary and more charts and uh, talking about it we decided to do a quick video which will explain things a lot better uh, starting with this chart this is the uh, gold futures for February 2016 and we're going back we're not showing the whole decline from uh, on this chart from uh, 2011 at the 1900 highs so we come down to uh, the low July low 2014 and we we'll start here because everybody's seen these charts over and over and there's even a couple of videos that you can watch so here at the bottom of wave 3, July of 2014, wave 3 was 1.618 times 1. Good uh, place for wave 3 to bottom out. The momentum, as we've gone over before, right here was the lowest point of the momentum, which was wave 3 of 3, which is classic. And then wave 4 and wave 5 of 3, and the momentum diverged, gave a positive divergence. And when we started the triangle, A up, B down, C up, D, and E to form a classic triangle, contracting triangle. Actually, in some contracts, just to get real technical here, this the B wave made a little bit lower low than the bottom of wave three in some of the gold contracts. Some of them they did and some of them they did. So in the contracts that did make a new low is wave B, you would refer to this as a running triangle, simply because wave B made a lower low, and uh, that's why, so it would be classified as a running triangle and not a contracting triangle. And like I said, that's just technical stuff. You really want to get technical about counting waves and labeling the correct way. So from wave E, the fourth wave, we counted one, two, three, four, five waves down, and we thought that this is bottom uh, wave five here, intermediate wave five. And this appeared to be five waves, but now then, the, because of what's transpired since then, this obviously wasn't five waves. So we've relabeled it as A and B and C. Um, but originally uh, we were looking for a rally back to the E wave which would have been a minimum retracement if this had completed the long three year five wave decline from the 1900 all time high. As you can see we only got a three wave rally uh, that failed to even make it back to the minimal calculation at the wave E. But we did get a good trade out of this. We were long through most of this. Picked up 40% right off the bat in, for January to get this year started, which really boosted our year. Um, then we had a decline. We thought this was wave B. Then we looked for five waves of wave C to rally up to the minimum targets and possibly even higher. Uh, the market failed only rallied in three waves and then declined in another three waves to a new yearly low. Okay, so that was all right. Uh, if you remember, we labeled this as an irregular wave B. So we had three up for A, three down for B, and then we should have done a five wave rally up to the minimal target and possibly even higher here as a large wave C. Once again, the market only did three waves. Uh, we were long through uh, in this area right here through most of this rally. We were placing our stops. Uh, the market failed to break the $1,200 resistance and then came down and did some overlaps, stopped us out. We made a, another good profit in gold. But this alerted us uh, that this wasn't bullish and we could potentially see another new low. And at this point is when we started talking 
mentioning to some of our really active gold traders that we may be doing an ending diagonal fifth wave just like the stock market did throughout this year only in reverse so if we go back here and look at this now from the fourth wave we have ABC of 1 ABC of 2 a large ABC of 3 ABC of 4 and now the market has declined all the way down to yesterday's low coming within just a few dollars of touching the lower diagonal trend line here now, diagonals each wave labeled one two three four five are made up of three waves labeled ABC and in this case this is minor waves so the minor waves break down at the minute degree which are the green letters in double parentheses um, this really doesn't look like a really good three-wave pattern but that's okay if you uh, looking at a short-term real short-term chart the market did five day waves down to this point right here and then had a little rally and then did a little diagonal right here this could classify as wave A, wave B, and yesterday's low as wave C to complete the three waves to complete minor wave 5, of intermediate wave 5, of primary wave A, the way we're counting it, from the all-time high. This is obviously a diagonal pattern. The only question is, was yesterday's low the low, or will the market rally a little bit here to form wave B? and then come down to or just below the trend line to complete wave C and then end it. But regardless of whether that happens or not, that should be the extent. So we need to be long. Um, any move from here that comes up and breaks this upper channel line should confirm that the low is in place uh, and, and it should be up, up and away starting a large three-wave correction over the next year just like we were saying back here at this low uh, before this diagonal developed and the minimum target is still the top of the E wave of the fourth wave that should be our first target eventually the A wave the top of the A wave of the fourth wave and then ultimately a 61.8 percent retracement that's what this uh, purple colored box shaded area represents here which will form the large three waves will form primary wave B and then if we're correct and this five this large five waves over the last four years now is not all of the decline because you don't correct and you don't decline from a major all-time high in five waves this has to be uh, if you're extremely bearish on gold, this would be wave one. We're not that bearish, um, so we're counting it as wave A. At the primary degree, we'll get a big three waves of wave B, and then decline below 1,000 and probably down to 700 or maybe even lower uh, later next year and into 2017. But first, we've got to do a nice correction of this first five waves down. So that's what we're looking at. We need to start accumulating. We're already long in uh, 401ks and JNUG. And JNUG just came down to about $30. If you weren't already 100% invested, uh, we did tell some traders to buy JNUG at $30 the other day uh, that weren't very heavily invested. Um, and JNUG should follow right along with the price of gold in your 401k. So looking down here, we look at the uh, momentum. The momentum shows the A, B, and C for one, A, B, C for two, A, B, C for three, and A, B, C four. And now down to here, this is A and B and C. You can see that the divergences are in place. Wave five has diverged with the bottom of wave three. And the last little low yesterday uh, created a divergence, and the MACD is actually on the daily time frame is actually trying to cross up into a buy signal. So everything's looking good to be long gold. Uh, if we do get a new low, 
from here we would add to our longs uh, so this this means we won't get real heavy here we'll only do a 50 percent position and uh, we'll update you on the BBM group updates when that takes place and with parameters to make those trades so this will conclude our update on gold this is what we're looking at if you have any questions send us a text and we'll talk to you later